hey guys you welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful French coily hair which is used to make a French coily braid so one thing I can assure you is that this hair never runs out of fashion and it is so so beautiful so to begin I'm using just two pack of braided hair I'm using a color 30 and a color 27 So I'm going to be cutting equal lengths for the both colors. So I'm doing just a one cut, that's cut one for both of this hair. So next I'm going to pick out the hair. So I'm trying not to pick it out too long so it doesn't have flyovers or some hair pulling out when I'm combing. So I'm just picking it out so it will just have sharp edges. So I'm going to be doing a succumb the hair. So now as you can see I have the hair all wrapped up using just a braided hair to wrap this up because I'm going to put it in hot water and I don't want it to burn my hand. So in this hot water I just added a little weave on oil which I'm going to be showing you in the during the duration of this video. So right now I'm just going to let it sit in the hot water for some minutes and then I'm going to pull it out. So when you pull it out of the hot water, it will be looking frizzy, but that shouldn't be a problem because when it is dried up, it is going to be looking nice and normal. So all I'm going to do now is to comb the hair. So to begin, first of all, I'm going to section the hair. So as you can see, I cut out just a medium size hair and right now I'm working with a pipe. So I'm using just a small medium size pipe for these. You can use whatever you have to roll this hair but I'm using just a pipe. So right now I'm going to start from the middle. So always make sure the hair is not frizzy or tangly, tangled when you're trying to roll the hair. So starting from the middle I combed out the hair and I'm rolling it flat on the pipe. So rolling is flat onto the pipe and as you can see the hair is looking so nice and stretched. That is because I added it in hot water. You can decide to use any form of heat. You can decide to use the hand dryer or the flat iron to flat iron this. So I decided to use hot water because it saves more time and stress. So guys do not put this hair, do not roll this hair directly without putting it in any form of heat because the hair is going to look so rough. So for the other side, I'm doing the same thing. I'm rolling it flat onto the pipe. So like I said guys, you can always use whatever you have. You can decide to use a pipe, you can decide to use a mopping stick, a normal stick, anything at all, even a cutting rod. All of these are going to work. So just like that, like I did to the first, I'm doing the same thing. Just roll the sharp tips and now I'm using my hands to roll it to direct the rolling and this is what we have. Everything is sealed and nice. So I'm going to be repeating the same process again with the color 30. So in case you didn't get it the first time then you ought to get it this time around. So because of the time I'm going to fast forward this but I hope you get every bit of this. So 
so it is very important that you follow the process because following the process is going to make everything easier for you so i decided to make this video so at least everybody is going to benefit from it so in the, instead of spending a whooping sum of money on this hair you can easily make it and you can have so much as much as you want So right now I'm going to go over with my Mega Growth Leave-In Conditioner and a Weave-On Oil. So I'm adding it inside a boiled water and I'm going to stir. So after stirring, I'm just going to put this hair onto the water and I'm going to make the water saturate around the hair. So you ought to do this repeatedly at least so enough that the water is going to stay onto the hair. So here is a quick tip, if you want the hair to dry faster then just get a cloth and just wet this up. So because the water on the pie doesn't seem to like dry fast so this is going to help a lot. So this is after the hair have been partially dried. So I'm going to pull it out from the pipe and the reason I'm pulling this out is because it will dry faster when it is pulled out than when it is still on the pipe. So carefully i'm just going to pull it out and this is what we have guys this is so beautiful so so beautiful so here is what we're working with and now we are going to see the bulk and bulk guys this is so so beautiful so this is what we have so I have, I can't remember the total number of packs I have. I'm just going to be showing that when I'm braiding the hair. So guys, I'm going to be making a wig cap with this. And you definitely need to subscribe to the channel so you can only see what it is going to look like. But before then, I'm going to be giving a quick description of what it will look like when you braid with this hair. So do not forget to like this video guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel. So and one good thing about this hair is that you can easily unravel it and the coils are still intact. So I can guarantee that these coils are going to last longer. So instead of wasting money, not wasting though, but instead of spending a lot on this hair, you can easily make it and it is really really nice. So right now I'm just going to try it out on my so I'm just this is a closure which I made and I'm just going to try it out now on my remade closure. okay guys check out the coils the coils are still intact so by the time i end up making all of the hair i can easily style this in whichever way i want to so yeah that is it about this video guys thank you for watching do not forget to like subscribe and i'll see you around in my next video